24th until March 2nd. Now let's take a look what's gonna be coming your way. Okay, Virgo, the first few days of this week for you, it's not going to be really favorable. Um, it is also advisable for you to go and take some time off, okay, either from work or from your, uh, from your home at this point, because somebody is going to set you up for a betrayal or somebody's going to set you up for a trouble. And this is an earth sign, okay? Now... Earth sign or someone who is, um, but this is actually a universal sign. But anyway, um, if you can take a vacation, it is much better for you. Okay, it is m more advisable for you to, you know, to be safe from any other harm or to any other hurt that you will be incurring this be because of this person. Now, there is someone who's an older fire sign that you've been waiting for, and you're only trying to pull your strength, okay? And you are still hoping positively that things will still turn out, you know, good between the two of you, or between this person's life, or between their decision. This fire sign has been really mean to you in some other ways, especially if this is born under the year of the dragon. This person has been very adamant and very, you know, in denial about everything and been denying your rights to have and possess some of the things that you're supposed to have. And you've been like trying to be patient, you know, with this person's attitude and their, you know, their behavior or their treatment towards you. But then this week, you know, there are some things that you need to end there are some things that you need to sacrifice and there are some things that you need to give up if you're also thinking of changing your job or if you're also thinking of moving from one career to another that this is you know the perfect timing for you to start thinking and planning about it don't make any hasty decision it's not really safe for you to do that but it's you know it is much more advisable for you to carefully plan and move and you know set a blueprint Okay, what's going to happen next and weigh the pros and cons of the consequences, you know, uh, sorry, the pros and cons of your decisions, or at least try to concentrate on the consequences of the decision that you're about to make. But you're very intuitive and you know what to do, all right? Now, you will be more in touch with your, with your water side and don't be in denial about how you really feel and you know the things that you're currently going through it's not really gonna pan out well or it's not really gonna help you out in some other way no matter what you no matter how you put it okay it's not really good for you to deny if you're hurting if you're afraid if you're scared or you know it's like if you're so confused if you don't know what to do if you don't have anywhere to go and stuff like that but starting Thursday, things will suddenly be in your favor. As in like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Money will finally be, you know, coming your way. Even though it's not as how you really expected it to be. But things will suddenly be, you know, be in your favor. So, it's a good thing. And... I feel like you need to be a little bit more, you know, um, careful because this is not really the time for you to um, splurge or go for some instant sh uh, shopping or like a shopping galore, you know, or you're going to go to a uh, department store and shop all the things that you want. Oh, and one more thing, don't invest in jewelries. This is not really the right time for that. And, uh, um... 
if you can, if you can afford, you can also start investing in a boat. Okay, better for you. And um, if you're also thinking of investing into a house or getting a house or buying a new place, then I feel like this is... Well, you're going to be getting a house in the month of August, but I feel like, you know, the best time for you to start looking into it is by next week, not this week. Because I feel like you're also start, you know, starting to think more about permanent future or stability. Because uh, you really hate the fact of living like a rabbit, jumping from one hole to another. So, well... I feel like uh, part of your wish is also to have some positive changes to see coming your way. And it is, you know. Someone is also a water sign is coming your way. And I feel like this is somebody who is uh, who is the answer to your wishful thinkings. And financially, you know, there is an inheritance or there is like an amount of money that you will be getting. But I feel like uh, there will be a lot of people that will be stopping this. It's like an inheritance or like a fortune with a curse. Okay? Yes, it's a big amount of money. But it will come with a bag of curse. Or with a bag of um, problems. So it's up to you. You know? Um, even though the people who will try to stop this from getting to you are actually the people who feels like they deserve that more than you but yeah you know yeah it's up to you if you want to you know if you want to like fight for this or give it up oh, well, i'm telling you it's a huge amount of money so i feel like you're gonna be fighting it for uh, well you're a very strong person so you don't really have to worry much about it and the sun will shine your way Especially right around the last four days of the week. It's going to be very good for you. You just need to be a little bit more careful in sharing confidential stuff. And confidential information. Okay. To other people. Especially if you don't really know them. Or if, if you don't really trust them too much. Okay. So anyway. That's it for you for this week. Virgo. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls. Just go and visit me at my website. That's a vangel.net. Blessings to you.